Peter, it's interesting. You just described a lot of the headwinds that are out there that perhaps uh, still have yet to come in, in full force. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the housing market as well, because I think you've got a different view, those housing stocks, and some would say that there has been a housing recovery. You don't think that's the case? No, I think that the government has managed to blow some air back into the, to a deflating bubble, uh, but now that air is escaping. Uh, they're not going to succeed. The demand for new homes has come from speculators. It's because of record low mortgage rates that no longer exist. They're still low, but they're not low enough. And all the he private equity guys and the hedge funds that were speculating, buying up all these single family homes that are now sitting vacant. There's nobody living there. They really don't have any tenants. I think these properties are going to go back on the market. You also have a lot of banks that in the last few months have stepped up their foreclosures because they got optimistic that they might actually be able to sell a lot of these houses. Uh, so they're, they, they're going to have houses coming on the market. And, you know, even the home builders, a lot of the new homes that they were building were being gobbled up right by speculators that had no intention of actually living in the houses that they were buying. Meantime, the actual buyer of homes, they're getting priced out of the market because prices have gone up. Mortgage rates have shot way up. Meanwhile, people are losing their part, their full time jobs. They've got part time jobs. You can't afford a full time mortgage with a part time job. Peter, I want to just dig into that a little bit more, because when you do hear some of these company managements from the home builders come out and talk about their outlooks, talk about their orders that are growing quite dramatically, double digit territory. Um, what's your take in terms of some of the uh, CEO commentary? Because from their perspective, you would think that things are going quite well and that the individual buyer is, in fact, in the market. Yeah, that's exactly what they were saying in 2005 and 6, 7, at the height of the housing bubble. They always have to talk their books. They're, they're building these homes. They're not going to acknowledge that their business is about to evaporate. They want their stock price to go up. They might have some shares they're trying to unload themselves. So I wouldn't put any credibility into what these home building CEOs say. That's exactly what they said last time. The same thing as the realtors and the mortgage bankers. They're always talking about how good the economy is. They've got all these economists from realtors organizations. They're, they're not economists. They're shills. They're PR guys. They're always going to talk about how great the housing market is, how sustainable it is. They're always going to try to rationalize a bubble. That's what they did before, and they're still doing it. All right. So, Peter,